Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm just going to provide a quick update because I recently got a letter with an update from a recent MRI scan that I had. Not so recent actually, back in the summer that I had, but I've only just had the feedback. So I thought I'd let you guys know, provide a quick update and let you know sort of how I'm feeling day to day as well. So let's jump into the video. Before I do, make sure you hit that like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and so that I can reach more people and I can help more people with their journey overcoming MS. So this scan was my first proper scan um, that could show any sort of progress or anything like that because basically I had a baseline scan just over a year ago, just after I started my treatment of Ocrevus. So that was going to act as the baseline scan and then this was going to be a year later and it would be really accurate and be able to kind of judge if there's been any difference, if there's been any disease progression, any new lesions or anything like that that would be able to show up on the scan and it was done with the same scanner so it's a direct comparison between the two. So I was pretty apprehensive but also excited to get the results back because I've been feeling good in myself, I haven't noticed any relapses, I haven't noticed any worsening of any, any symptoms or anything like that so in my mind it was just hopefully the scan's show the same thing as what I'm actually experiencing myself. So I got the letter back and thankfully I was over the moon to find that it said that there were no changes from the previous scan. That essentially highlights that there's been no additional lesions, no activity um, from that scan a whole year back. This made me feel, you know, over the moon as I say. I was so happy in that the scan from the brain because you, you never quite know because I've, obviously I've been feeling good and I haven't felt like I've had any issues or any relapses but you never actually know what's going on inside of there um, and on the spine as well although this was only a brain scan that they did for me until you actually get the results back and you can actually you know they've, they've looked inside with the magical MRI machine and they can look at your brain and actually tell you no it's all good. I was really happy with that it just goes to show that a I think that my diet ch changes and my lifestyle changes have definitely played a massive impact, but also that obviously going on Ocrevus was the right decision. Whether it was all down to the diet or maybe all down to the Ocrevus, but the fact that I also haven't had any re relapses in the year before I started Ocrevus, which was after I'd been diagnosed, but since I started the diet, if that makes sense. Um, so that's got a bit confusing, but basically I was doing just the diet for a year and then I've been doing Ocrevus for a year um, in the space of that scan. So it was difficult because I didn't have a scan comparing at the start of my diet and the, you know, the start of Ocrevus. But all I've got to go off is from the start of Ocrevus to six months ago. But either way, obviously it means that I'm keeping on top of it and it seems to have really slowed the disease down because when I was first diagnosed, I was having issues left, right and centre. The thing that set it off was in the, the December I lost vision in, in both of my eyes so not completely it was just I had blind spots in both my eyes which was really strange and really odd and that kind of set the ball rolling and then a couple of months later I also lost um, or I had a change in sensitivity from my sort of chest downwards so all in my legs it felt kind of numb but not 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 properly numb I could still feel but it was definitely a change in sensitivity and so there was just a lot of stuff happening within that first six months that showed to me and also to the neurologist that I spoke to that it was very active and that it needed to be slowed down straight away. And in fact, the first meeting I had with the neurologist um, was actually a private neurologist because I wanted to speed things up. And he said from looking at my scans that, you know, I needed to get on disease modifying therapy right away because he was like, he saw, he mentioned that there was a black spot in one of my scans, which essentially means a lesion that never recovered and so it's turned to um, properly sort of dead matter that will never kind of come back to life and so that really worried him um, and worried me a whole lot when he mentioned that as well um, but essentially he was saying that I needed to get on treatment straight away and then from there it still took a whole extra year before I started my treatment of Ocrevus. And so in that year, that was when I was making all my dietary changes that I've mentioned on this channel, my lifestyle changes, trying to manage stress, 
get more sunlight, vitamin D, all those different things that I've mentioned in other videos. Um, but that seemed to really slow it down as well because I didn't have any additional problems throughout the rest of that year. Um, and then I've continued to not have any problems since. It's hard to tell if it's been from the diet or from the ocrevus or potentially both, which it probably is, because I'm kind of seeing the, the ocrevus, the disease modifying therapy as a catch net for anything that slips through the net of everything else that I'm doing, because I do think that everything else I'm doing is really keeping on top of it. Um, but that's just there as a safety net in case, you know, something does trigger an autoimmune response that starts another relapse or some other kind of activity. So either way, absolutely ecstatic with those results. Um, and it just goes to show that all the hard work that I've put in is really paying off and it makes it seem worth it. So it gives me real, you know, motivation, enthusiasm to want to continue with the diet. Um, and this month I'm going to try something new in my diet. I'm trying the carnivore diet, which you can check out my other videos on that for. So it's given me a renewed sense of, you know, what I'm doing is working and hopefully it can prove to some of you watching that, you know, you can take control of this. And um, there's countless other people that I've, I've talked to in the comments of these videos that have said the same. They've done things with their diet that's really helped them. So I really would implore you to check out, first of all, the rest of my videos where I talk about specifically what I've done, but also check out other things. And don't just feel like you're hopeless in this situation and that you've got to just rely on the drugs um, to hopefully turn it around. There are things you can do to control the disease. I know that there are people less fortunate than me that might have, the disease might have been further down in, in the progress and so it's harder to change the tides but there's still things you can do to definitely slow it down and ultimately hopefully one day you can stop it as well. So thanks for watching the video, let me know any questions you have below and I'd love to answer them because it's great getting involved in the questions and answering people um, and it feels like we're building a real good community here of people that we're all looking to help each other so that we can overcome this, this horrible disease and take control of your autoimmune condition. Put your autoimmune condition into manual. That's, what, that's a phrase that I've been um, thinking of quite recently. I might make a book actually, it sounds like a book title. But um, anyway, let's keep going. Keep, keep doing what you can to keep on top of the disease and I'll see you in the next video. Cause I've been thinking.